sauteed with Sally Tomato, there's nothing better than a variety of purse hardware closures to give you options in making bags and purses that you craft really unique. There are turn locks, flip locks, and press locks in addition to magnetic closures. They come in a variety of sizes and styles while offering beautiful alternatives to a traditional sew-in style of closure. A selection of metal finishes such as nickel, gold, gunmetal, antique, and rose gold all coordinate with our Sally Tomato hardware. Today I'm going to install a turn lock. I can't wait to show you how easy it is, so let's get to the work table. These Lucky Penny wallets with flip lock hardware are a perfect example of how a hardware closure makes a dramatic change. Imagine other purse patterns with a hardware closure. As an example, the Ginger, the Scarlet, and the Sophie bags could look quite different with hardware closures. The closure itself consists of a turn unit with a washer, which will be placed in the front of the bag or purse body. Then there's a plate unit made up of a front and back plate with tiny screws for assembly. This unit will be attached to the closure flap of your purse or bag. A few items or, and tools in addition to your project fabrics to have on hand are a heavy interfacing like craft tax or sew-in foam, I'm using Bozal inner form, fusible interfacing and a scrap of your project fabric basting tape, a seam sealant or fabric glue, permanent glue such as E6000, a screw adhesive such as Loctite, removable marking pen or pencil, seam ripper, sharp scissors, possibly a rotary punch if you have one, and a mini screwdriver. Let's begin with the turn unit since this part will normally be installed as you assemble your bag or purse project. First, check that the prongs are straightened and then mark the slots on the washer that correspond to the prongs. I'm using a permanent pen so the marks show up, but you could use a lead pencil instead. Then position the washer, centering the marked slots on your project. Now mark the fabric using the indicated slots for placement. If your fabric is lightweight, also mark a small piece of stabilizer or foam, which will add needed support to the fabric. Now cut the slot prongs using a seam ripper or very sharp scissors. Cut carefully. It's better to cut the slots a little short. That will keep the turn unit very secure. Next, insert the turn unit from the right side of the fabric and then add the heavy stabilizer or foam to the wrong side or back of the fabric. Push down on the washer and flatten out the prongs, pushing them away from the center to reduce the metal bulk, making them as tight as possible to the foam or interfacing. As a final step, carefully fuse a piece of interfacing over the prongs and washer to protect your lining fabric from the sharp metal edges. Or you could glue a piece of the project fabric over the prongs if there will be no lining in your purse or bag. Okay, now let's attach the plate unit. We're going to use the back plate because we need to mark the holes for the screws in addition to the lock opening. I'm using a little piece of tape to keep those tiny screws from rolling off the table. Position the back plate on your completed project and mark the holes and lock opening using a marking pen or pencil.
Cut out the holes just outside the marked lines. You could use a rotary punch to open the screw holes, or if they're quite close to the lock opening, you can extend that opening to include the holes by drawing an oval shape just outside of your markings. Now do a quick test fit with the plate. You want to see the plate's interior opening edge, but you don't want to cut the opening too large. Add a bit of permanent glue to the cut edges on both sides of the opening and place both plates on the opening with the back plate to the back or lining side and insert the screws. To really secure those tiny screws, add a little drop of Loctite before the screw is completely inserted. If you have an extra screw left over, keep it just in case you need to replace one in the future. And your turn lock is finished. Now it was really easy, right? Now it's your turn to add a sophisticated closure to your next purse or bag project. Be sure to tag us with hashtag Sally Tomato to share a photo. If you found this tutorial helpful, let us know and give us, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.